Biasha joined us at the table, gnawing anxiously on his lower lip. Tosh. Tosh. I, I cannot pronounce anymore. You're almost living in that, in that fucking forest. Have you seen anything strange? Eh? Yesterday? Eh? No. No, I definitely didn't see her, that's for sure. Also, I really hope those teeth, two teeth that you are missing in the front are not your adult teeth, because if they are... Then you just kinda fucked. Я тоже. <laughs> Me either. Повезло, что классуха моим родакам нажаловалась из-за оценок. Oh, I got lucky that my homeroom teacher complained to my folks about my grades. Вот меня они выпустили вечером на репетицию. They didn't let me come out for a rehearsal. А то на месте Катьки оказались бы мы. If they did, we'd be in Katya's shoes now. <laughs> Biasha scratched at his Adam's apple. Это... Я что сказать хотел бы. So, here's this thing, uh... I heard something. What did you hear? Oh. I was going to school this morning as usual. And then I heard a shrill cry from behind the trees. A girl's voice! You see what I mean, huh? Hmm. I didn't know about Katya then. Even if I did, it would have been scary, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, morning here are as bad as night. It's so dark you can't see a thing. What if it was Katya? Well, then tell them where you heard the scream around what time. And then the cops will go look. That's not your problem. Let them know. <laughs> Among the windfall near the cemetery? Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, you need a cemetery for this place. But also, I did not see a cemetery anywhere. I'm curious. Is that the new location? Хорош пургу гнать. Bullshit. No, that dude was fucking panicking. My dude, he panicked. He panicked hard. Да зуб да юна. Сам слышал. I swear, I heard it with my own ears. А вы уверены, что Катя действительно пропала? Are you sure Katya really went missing? Вон Лилия Павловна, Катькина матушка, даже на работу не пришла. Even her mom didn't show up for work today? Oh. Do you think her whole family disappeared? Test is off, huh? I'm telling you, it was Katya moaning in the taiga. A serial killer got her too. I remembered Katya. She was both beautiful and mean. She sure was... Wait, yeah. What a great, like, picture of her. The girl in our class with the maturing body to the envy of all other girls. It's true. She kn she had what the others didn't, and she fucking knew it. You know what I mean? The main source of gossip. Snake and a bitch. <laughs> she sure was. Yeah, she started counting with his fingers. Сенечка, Вова, Семён, Катя. Четыре человека, да. I'm not going to say those names, but dang, four people? Roma slammed his hands on the desk. Так, пацаны, отныне смотреть в оба. Okay, guys, from now on, we always keeping our guard up, but also, also, you gotta count the mom, because the mom is missing. Just because the kids are missing, you gotta also, like, look at the, who the adults are that are missing. Don't spit off in the group like in those stupid horror movies. I don't care about the rest, but you two are under my protection. 
как и Полинку. And Polina too. Hope your relationship works out. I had already forgotten that I was ever into Paulina. The only girl accompanying my thoughts after last night was Elisa. The boys went to the cafe and I was left alone. Oh, have a good night, one up, and a happy Halloween. Get some rest. Scribbling in my notebook, drawing rows of pines and two small figures flying between the tree chops in the full moon. Ooh. Shivers ran up to my shoulders, sneaking playfully under the hem of my shirt. Ooh. Even though through soaring through the sky felt so simple, there was still something evil weighing me down. Oh, wow. The culprit was definitely still in the village. They were hiding something horrible under a mask of piousness. Rysuish. Polina! Oh, nothing normal. Embarrassed, I covered the notebook as if there was something shameful about the figures about the forest. Nothing really, you know, just fooling around. Mm, Polina is so cute though! Oh my god, look at her! I love her. Look at that, look at her nice hair. Big, beautiful eyes, nice nose, pretty lips, a good smile. Like, I get, I get why, why, uh, she's a popular. Plus, she's not mean like the other one. Polina put her elbows on the desk. I had already forgotten how light and graceful she was. Just like a violin. I wish she could also jump around with us. After stripping away her mask of fate and mundanity. I smiled, imagining Paulina's skirt flapping in the wind and the stars sparkling all around us, her asking in bewilderment whether it was all a dream, and myself telling her that it doesn't matter. Paulina's expression grew dark again. Have you heard about Katya? It's a tragedy. Yeah. It's also tragic that I find it difficult to empathize with her. Em empathize with her. Я правда ищу в себе сострадание, но вспоминаю ее поступки. I tried so hard, but then I remembered all her nasty deeds and. Polina shook her head. Я чудовище, да? I'm a monster, aren't I? Nah, I wouldn't feel bad about it anyway. No, I thought. You're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met. But alas, you're only number two on that list. I decided not to say that out loud. He's like, no, no. I'm a furry now. I just put on the mask. It's not okay that I felt worse when I lost my questionnaire than when she went missing. The nostrils picked up the smell of candy, tree resin, and fireworks. You lost your questionnaire? Yeah, somebody out there is reading other people's secrets now. Interesting. Yes, the forest, I thought, imagining the crooked branches, turning the notebook pages, touching the childish handwriting with their icy twigs. I hope the search goes well. I hope so, too. I was unsure whether she spoke about Katya or her notebook. I wanted to ask her about it, but then I noticed Polina's intense stare directed at me. What? You've changed. I smoothed my hair flat, surprised. I just didn't sleep well tonight. Сегодня ты точно какая-то другая мелодия. Очень древняя, таинственная. You're a different melody today. Some mysterious ancient tune. I thought about the flute's melody streaming between the bushy tree chops. Надеюсь, ты никому не рассказал про наш вчерашний разговор. Hope you haven't told anyone about our chat yesterday. Что ты? Of course not. That's a good boy. You don't spill secrets.
She nodded, as if acknowledging that she could fully trust me. I was unsure whether I merited such trust. Want to go for a walk after school? Your boss been feeling a bit better recently. I can return home a bit later. Her hair cascading down around her shoulders. The smell was so wonderful that it sent me flying towards the glowing stars of my inner cosmos without any magic. Конечно. Uh, sure. Только давай пойдем через запасной выход. Ну тот возле спортзала. But let's head out through the back exit, one near the gym. Прячешься от кого-то? Hiding from someone? I shifted my gaze to the desk in front of me. My buddies left us alone, giving me ample opportunity to betray them. My guilty conscience gripped my heart in its tiny jaws. Is it because of Romka? You don't want him to know? Girlie, I mean, if you just reject him, then it's not really my fault if you happen to like me and not him. <clears throat> he likes you? Oh my god, you fucking... You fucking... Spilled the beans. Why would you do that? Oh no, she knew. It's hard not to notice. No, парни всегда забывают о главном. Сначала надо спросить мнение девушки. But boys, so oh, but your boys always forget the most important part. You need to ask the girl first. А девушка говорит после уроков. The girl saying. After school, near the back exit. I smiled, relieved. Get to God just returned to devour my heart the moment Ramka came back and tossed a lingonberry bun my way, winking. Yes. Набирайся сил для нашего спектакля. Eat up. You don't need a lot of energy for our little play. Yeah, I, the actor, was supposed to play the villain. Didn't show up for that play. I left the school early, 20 minutes before the algebra class was supposed to end. I lied to the teacher about having a toothache. A behind the bushes near the school, like some criminal. Paulina soon arrived. Oh, look at her cute little winter outfit. And her violin case! Let's fucking go. Hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. You want to hide so badly, why not dig yourself into a snow pile? God, I can never live somewhere where it snows this much. Too much. Too much snow. Snow is nice, but not that much. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want... I don't want a lot, you know? I realized I was trying to play both sides here. Secretly win Polina over without losing Romka's support. I wonder what will happen if any of them find out about my scheme. Пойдем скорее. Come on, let's go. No, пойдем. Okay. We started walking along the school's football field. The sun was bright, but it did nothing to warm the frozen soil. The twilight hid in the thicket, anxiously waiting for the moment when it could come out and devour the village. I had already, I've already forgotten the city's bustle. This place is so tranquil. Oh, and I dream of that cacophony. A caca... Чем? A caco... What? <laughs> My companion burst out laughing. Cacophony is a chaotic mixture of sounds. Grandpa always taught me to look for a melody in everything. <laughs> he sounds like a philosopher. He's a local historian, or at least he used to be. Grandpa sounds cool. He truly is. I'll introduce you soon. Oh, are you inviting me to come over? You don't want to? No, нет. Uh, no, of, of, of course I do. 
He kept sneaking glances at Polina. She was like a precious gem. Its sides gleaming, shimmering, changing ever so slightly. What? Her eyes, full of innocent laughter, asked me. Oh, nothing. I replied without speaking. You're brave. I like that. Smelly. I'm brave. Why did that sound like he said smelly? Can I get him to say that again? No, this was just a text backlog, but it almost sounded like he said smelly. I still remember how you fought back with Baburin. Пустяки. It was nothing. Fuck that guy. Знаешь, как для девочек важно, чтобы их защищали. It's very important for girls to feel safe, you know. True. So, so true. Заступиться за тебя честь. It's an honor for me to protect you. Oh. Вот, я же говорю. <laughs> See, I told you. Изъясняешься словами из романов. That expression was straight out of some novel. Это честь для меня, моя госпожа. It's an honor, milady. <laughs> Polina started giggling. <laughs> Her fake pouted, but I couldn't keep myself from smiling in the end. The village looked abandoned, desolate. Rickety fences, ravines full of garbage. This place probably looks nice in the summer as it's full of greenery. But during winter, under the icy crust, under the snow blanket, I turned around from time to time to check if my good friends, who weren't good or friendly to me anymore, were following in my wake. Dogs barked and clanged their chains against the fences, but they grew quiet when we reached the next house. Try imagining the ghosts are playing with those chains. Oh, I love the stories about ghosts. Ooh, she likes ghost stories. Ooh, I love ghost stories. Grandpa tells them all the time. I stopped in front of a small but cozy looking house with the snow covered roof and put her hand on the small gate. Her eyes piercing me as if at trying to peek into the depths of my soul. What a what does that fucking mean? I always mention how good, caring, and smart my grandpa is, but it's only half of the truth. Are you going to tell me he's got split personality, or... Oh, oh, you said he was sick. Are you, does he have dementia or Alzheimer's? Lately, he's been acting, sort of. She paused, searching for the right words. Чудной? Funny. Да, пожалуй. Yeah, that's it. Стал таким с годами, так что ничему не удивляйся. He became like that as he aged, so please try not to be surprised by him. Так точно, ничему не удивляться. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. No acting surprised. Of course, of course. He opened the door, and her grandpa was like, "Fuck it." Like, I don't know, some... I don't know. I couldn't even finish that fucking thought. He's just dismembering somebody in the kitchen, like, Oh, hey, I'm just making food, or like, I don't know, some crazy, deranged grandpa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At ease, soldier. Oh, that's the first time I've seen her face or like, her eyes closed. My goodness, this really just shows off just how big they are. Big woo eyes. We walked toward the house on a th thin, cleaned path. Polina unlocked the door. Oh. What in the hell is in your- what is- what- what gas canister is that? Why is that the first thing? A long hallway was full of shadows. And let's go! The door slammed shut behind our backs, cutting us off from the roaring wind and all other outside sounds. The place became so silent that I could hear Polina's heart beating. I'm already a little stressed, as you can see, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. Also, let me shift and sit up a bit more. I'm fucking cold. Oh, I'm so fucking cold. Hmm. I wanted to cover up my hands and feel up my palm with my lifelines. The fuck does that mean? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. One of the most significant signs in practicing Pong mystery. Uh, divin divinatory art that interprets the distinctive features of each hand, such as lines and mounts, to obtain information about a person's destiny and personality. Pong mystery gained wide popularity among Russia youth in the 80s and 90s, influenced part by the strong presence of gypsy culture in the region from which this art originated. Interesting. I didn't know that. Ты всегда так застываешь? Do you always freeze like this? Как будто у тебя в голове стоп-кран нажали. As if somebody pulled an emergency brake in your head. Фантазия рисует всякие картинки. My imagination is running wild. Ah, понимаю. Ah, I see. Took off her coat, hanging it on a wall hook. There she Раздевайся, is. Разувайся, Come on, take your stuff off. Oh, Dan, not even gonna ask me to dinner first. No, I'm kidding. Я пока в комнате приберусь. I'll go clean up the room in the meantime. Дедушка бывает вещи свои оставляет где попало. Grandpa always forgets his things everywhere. Я быстро. I'll be quick. She floated away, light as a butterfly. Another butterfly of steel kind. Had a real chance of floating inside my gut in the near future. Yeah, butterfly night. I took off my coat, untied my shoelaces. A tiny squeak reached my ears. Oh, hello. What am I making? What am I touching? Oh my god, I actually could have clicked on shit? God damn it! What did I- what did I touch that did that? There was stuff I could- what is- Oh my god, there was so much stuff I could have clicked- I don't think there was stuff I could have clicked on before this moment, but like I could have. Let me check in the mirror. I'm looking sharp. The reflection of this mirror is so sharp and deep. My gaze drowns and drowns in it. That's called a regular mirror. Oh, I don't like that. Um, it's more like a doorway than a mirror. With an identical room with skis and sticky to the touch wallpaper behind it. Why is it sticky? You played this game before. How did you not know you could click? I. Didn't know that things wouldn't be highlighted. I know. Tay, it's been a year. Give me a break, man. The electric meter, which barely works during the last month. As if Polina and her grandpa spend their evening in complete darkness. <laughs> I didn't like that. And then... I'm all right. <laughs> it's just a hunting trophy. Where did, did you fall through the goddamn ceiling? You weren't there before. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Hoggers. Wow. What a weird mirror. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking weird, right? They'll surely have the script memorized after this playthrough. I mean, this is a brand new though. This is new new. This came out in July and we haven't played it yet. So I don't know. Let me look at this thing. What the fuck was that? I don't get why adults hang something like this in their homes. Crooked, sharp outgrowths. I have read the animals don't get hurt when their horns that are already hardened get trimmed. Still. It's the same as plastering your wall with your clipped fingernails. They are also cornified objects that were once part of a living organism. Doot doot! What is saying doot doot when I went over it? Oh, the, 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 the painting! I noticed painting. Pagini. The guy was so good at playing the violin that other people had decided he sold his soul to the devil. This portrait was drawn by Nikolai Finchin. He was a famous Russian painter that moved to America after the revolution and became famous there too. Wow, Bikini has such long fingers. 
That's what makes him good at violin. I was also good at violin, despite having very small fingers and hands. Also, how you doing, Tay? How was work? Such a piercing stare. What is he looking at? Maybe he did sell his soul after all. You can't blame the man for being soulless in a painting. That is surely the work of the artist. Hmm. Would Paulina sell hers? I wonder. Hmm. Bit doop boop. He's portrait spooky. Ooh, skis. A pair of tourist skis. Dad told me stories of how he would make his own skis and six pole ski poles. Even his own ski wax from beeswax, rosin, and pine resin. A good fit for the harsh winters around here. But these skies are in need of mate skis are in need of maintenance. The bindings are in very bad condition and they have dark red spots on them. Probably just rust. Um, <laughs> it's a mysterious red stain on there. Yeah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> phone. If one were to stand in front of the phone, the wallpaper pattern would look like the set of watchful eyes. So this is the place Paulina called me from. She stood right here under the electric meter. Oh, up there. I didn't. In interesting place to keep that. Among the shadows. I mean, I guess you'd want to know your electric thing without having to fucking go outside, I guess. Maybe she even played with the light switch, twirling the phone cord, turning the lights off. Time speaking to me in the dark. Why? That's... I definitely used to, like, twirl the, the phone cord. Boop. Just a regular phone. Reminds me of like the Pokemon games where like if you went to go use a phone in like one of the enemy's bases and it says Better not use it <laughs> It's like yes, we who knows what this thing is capable of. I want to look at this door Ooh. Ooh. There's so much junk here just like in a junk shop I like at the village cemetery dump where people throw away plastic flowers, splinters from rotten crosses, and dirty stripes with gilded words of cond condolences. Why did I think Pauline's grandpa brought all of this from a cemetery dump? Those don't have toys or a trampoline like in those books about the n northern shamans. And this, what was it called again? Dreamcatcher. I didn't think it'd catch any dreams, but it'd catch a haymaker spider. A fucking what? Am I gonna get haymakered? Am I, am I about to get fucking ambushed? The stench. No wonder I could hear flies buzzing in this place, even in the middle of winter. It smells like the thawed lard and wet soil. I guess you can get used to it if you live here long enough. This is a really annoying sound. I want you to know this. Hmm. That's the room of Pumina's grandpa. Um, there's nothing else to really... ...really look at, I guess. Just wait. I look into the deeper part of the house while taking off my boots. Why did that start doing that? Okay, um... Found my dark mass the corner. At the edge of the corridor, something moved towards me. Making the dry floorboards squeak. Hello. Uh, hey, uh, how are ya? If you trigger the noise a few hundred more times, I'll know how annoying it is. Just so you know. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Hello. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Let's have her louder. What is fucking happening? Step back towards the door without thinking. Paulina. Paulina? Oh. Why the fuck was that your shadow? 
You can't be towering over nobody. You in a wheelchair. A wheelchair. This is probably the worst kind of home for you to be in a wheelchair. This does not look like it was wide enough for you to exist in that thing. A wheelchair appeared from around the corner. A stocky old man protruding for the darkness. Oh, hello, Polina's grandpa. You must be Polia's classmate, huh? Da, Anton Petrov. My name is Anton Petrov. We shook hands. His grip was surprisingly firm. Good to meet you. Very good. I fucking... What? How do I say your name? I'm just gonna call you Grandpa. I'm gonna call you Grandpa. The shadow was standing. Of course it was. Of course it was. This wheelchair is always like a facade, of course. I'm gonna call you Grandpa. Nice to meet you, Grandpa. Do you know the meaning of your name? I do not. I never thought about it. От латинского Антео, тот, кто вступает в бой. Oh, comes from Latin. Antio, someone who goes into battle. <laughs> cool. Apparently my name was Brave Roots. А Полина? Полина? Полина французского происхождения. Полина is a name of French origin. Если не ошибаюсь, солнечная. If I remember correctly, it means sunlight. Oh, oh! Of course, the sunlight, the enchanting views of France, the Parisian sky. All of that sounded like Polina. Yeah, you know a lot about names. I gave all my dolls unique names. Kukli? Her dolls? Polina не рассказывала. Я же кукловодом работал при театре. Oh, Polina hadn't told you? I used to work as a puppeteer in a theater, didn't she told me you were a historian? Потом сторож с сигаретой тлеющий уснул, сам погиб, и театр сгорел до основания. Then one day, a night guard fell asleep while smoking there. He died and the theater burned down. Oof. Куклы мои... Oh, your dolls burned down. No. I'm so sorry. What a shame. I'm pretty sure that Polina told me her grandpa was a local historian. She, in fact, did. Interesting. Was this before? Was this after? Were these historical plays that you were putting on? Or Interesting. He squinted. What is that look he gave me with his one eye? А знаешь ли ты, Петров Антон, что в старину у людей два имени было? Настоящее и то, что они называли незнакомцем. Oh my god, that's a long thing. Have you heard, Anton Petrov, that people in the ages past used to have two names? Their true name and the one they shared with strangers? Считалось, что подлинное имя, попав к нехорошим людям, Mm. I believe that if a person's true name ended up in the hands of bad people, it could spell disaster for its owner. Are you about to tell me that you're gonna cause some disaster to me because I just gave you my fucking name? <gasps> Those names could be used to hex or even kill. Oh, really? Yes, really. And the names they gave to animals were also deliberate. Interesting. Zaitas, Zaitz, oh, Zatsi, Lithuanian hopper, and Volk comes from Old Slavic Velk, one who drags. What, what are we describing right now? Oh, he moves closer. Let me just cut that gallery real quick. 
Oh, the anatomy for bunny and wolf. Oh. Oh, the English translation uses transcribed version of those words to ensure the comparison to other languages in this line makes sense phonetically. Aha. Uh -huh. It didn't work enough because I was like, I don't fucking know what's happening. I wondered to myself where Paulina's parents were. She never spoke about her mom, only her grandpa. I decided to ask a question to get a new conversation. I'm Edvid. What about the bear? The bear's name is still a mystery. What the fuck does that mean? Наши предки так боялись этого зверя, что предпочли забыть слово, которым его величали. Because if like, if you're being hunted by a bear, and you forgot the word to describe bear, how are you going to warn people that there is in fact a bear? If you say, help, I'm being chased by the thing that shall not be named, you will probably fucking die before you can finish that sentence. Instead, you could just scream BEAR! Or scream the word you have for bear! And then I think everybody will know. <laughs> you know, just, just to get it out faster, you know? Our ancestors were so afraid of the pet, the beast, they decided to forget the word they used to call it. Just because something doesn't exist like the language for something doesn't mean that that thing does no longer exist just because you decided not to call it something anymore doesn't mean it stopped being you know it just disappeared from their language <laughs> we were left with a much more recent interpretation one who oversees the honey <laughs> Help! The one who oversees the honey is here! <laughs> Seems interesting. The man's smile became wider, revealing a stockade of metal implants. Ah, metal, right, metal teeth. He raised his hand and waved it in the air like a rake that was scratching an empty space. Scarily, scarily, scarily. Scratch, scratch, scratch. What the fuck is going on? Sound made me shrink instinctively. To ya medvet na lipovi nage na berezovi kluke. Here comes the bear on a fake hind leg with a long birch cane. Все по селам спят, по деревням спят. The whole village sleeps. All the peasants sleep. Одна баба не спит. What is oh? What are these? The whole old hag is awake, sitting on my skin. My Spinning my brown fur, feasting on my flesh. Oh, is this from the bear's point of view? This was what Polina warned me about. I already broken my promise. I like I got surprised. More like I became seriously concerned. <laughs> Именно в нашей деревне приключилась эта страшная сказка, Ooh. как и многие другие. According to legends, that morbid tale happened right in our village, just like many others. Ooh, do you tell about the others? Вот, к примеру. There's also this one. В прошлом веке простому люду тяжко пришлось. The previous century was tough on simple folk. Денег у них тогда мало было, а еды и того меньше. Точь в точь, как сейчас. They're close to no money, even less food, just like nowadays. Oh, save me, hit that button. Подались тогда крестьяне разбойничать, тайгу обворовывать. Кто карася ухватит, а кто и гуся. Peasants resorted to robbing of the taiga, that is. A crustacean here, a goose there. What kind of crustacean is in the goddamn woods? A главный егерь мало того, что не препятствовал, так еще в первых рядах проконьерствовал. And the chief gamekeeper. Not only did he prevent them from doing so, 
But he also spearheaded the pe the poaching efforts. Самым зажиточным стал на селе. Огреб того и гляди лопнет. He became the richest man in the village. His cellar was almost ready to burst. Так и кричал егерь на всю округу. Я в лесу хозяин. Oh, you should never do that. The gamekeeper boasted everywhere he went. The forest is mine. I'm the master here. Обзавелся он, значит, с семьей, слугами, да каким-никаким имением. Then he formed a family, got himself a bunch of servants, and a humble estate. И на радостях пир закатил горой аж до самой ночи. А как двенадцать пробило, собаки залаяли. It was such a joyful occasion that he ordered a feast that spanned for a whole day, up until the night when the clock struck twelve. The dogs started barking outside. Идите, кричит егер слугам, собакам кости бросьте. Go, the gamekeeper shouted to his servants, throw some bones to the dogs. Через время ворота застучали. Time passed and somebody knocked on his gates. Идите, кричит семья. Go, he shouted to his family. Chase away the guests. Ooh. He was left alone at the table, but a single soul was coming back. Oh, then he heard the dogs howling, only to go silent again. Ooh. And then somebody started banging on his door. Bah, bah, bah. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to translate. I licked my parched lips and instinctively looked over the old man's shoulder, praying in my mind that Polina would come back soon and interrupt this eerie monologue. Yet only shadows wreathed behind Grandpa's back. Game master got scared to death and ran to the cellar. He slammed the lock shut, and then suddenly, somebody from outside spoke. Love, it's me, your wife. Open up. And then is he going to be like, I'm not married? <laughs> Please, you translate that. He said, bam, bam, bam. Just in case you were, uh, you were wondering. No way, never! I hate my wife! The voice became harsher, more forceful. I'm starving, love. At least give me something from your supplies. From our supplies. Уйди, уйди, Христом заклинаю, закричал Егер и упал молиться. Be gone! In the name of the Lord, the game master shouted and fell to his knees in prayer. He has not spoken why he should be cautious of this person. Тогда голос как гром грянул. The next moment, the voice roared. Целиком не выйдешь. Хоть кусок мне If you won't come out in one piece, at least give me a slice. Oh. Is this face the reason why you got a divorce? I think this is why you got a divorce. Егерь вне себя от ужаса просидел в подвале до первых петухов. The game master spent the rest of the night inside, trembling from fear. А как показаться отважился? And then when he gathered enough bravery to come out, he found his friend, family, and servants. Oh my god. Hanging on their own guts along the main road. Holy shit. In the blink of an eye, his matter became infested with wild beasts. Because there are no borders in our world. 
Because the tiger has no bounds. Sorry, I thought he was done. One part of it exists in our world and the other in a place where night never ends. Егерь пытался, сломя голову, бежать из проклятой деревни, но истинный хозяин леса настиг его в пути. The game master tried to escape the accursed village, but the true forest master got to him in the end. I spoke in a shaky voice. И что же с ним сделал этот хозяин леса? And what did the forest master do to him? The old man tilted his head and burst out laughing. It's easier to name what he didn't do. Alright, name it. What didn't he do? And he's just like, he didn't do anything nice. And I'm like, did he... Did he do, did he do unspeakable acts to his body? And he's like, oh yeah, a lot. And, and then it just kind of, instead of it turning into like a, a horror thing, it's just, it's just about the sexy time. And I'm like, and he's just going on and on as if it's his own, like, like two OC characters <laughs> getting together. And I'm like, hey, uh, whoa, whoa, hang on. Hey, uh, Polina, <laughs> Polina, help. Your grandpa's going off about furries. Please help. <laughs> the old man's eyes pinned me to the floor, to the door leaf. Okay, bye! I'll see you later! This was a great chat we've had. He smiled as if nothing ever happened and rolled his wheelchair back. <laughs> Look at me talking your ear off. Go! Oh, I want to hear more of your, st your, your things. Yes, are you a fanfic writer, old man? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I brushed off my stupor and minced across the corridor. It was nice meeting you. Petrov, Anton. You too, Antron Anton Petrov. You too.